I have a number of what I think are substantive things to talk about. Let me start with this one, Michael. We know there is a psychological cost. We know that people who live in that town say that they are scared. Nobody wants to see little kids having to go into school with state troopers standing outside. There is, though, also a financial cost, whether you're talking about the short-term cost of responding to all these bomb threats, I think 33 as of yesterday, or the potentially long-term cost if Haitians being targeted decide to leave town. There was a, a local CEO who said it puzzles him. He, by the way, his family has owned a business in Springfield for 100 years. It puzzles him why J.D. Vance doesn't understand the value of a stable workforce. So why does someone like J.D. Vance think it's a good idea to push an idea that's hurting his own constituents' bottom line, and frankly, local and state governments' bottom line. Somebody has to pay for all this security and response. Yeah, send the bill to the Trump uh, Vance campaign. If I'm the mayor of that city, that's exactly what I do. I send the bill right to them, and I'd have I'd have uh, the the parents of those students and the teachers call the campaign uh, and let them hear exactly what their words have done and let them know exactly what their words have cost and continue to cost that city. Um, you know, make them pay the consequence for a lie they know to be a lie. And the fact, I mean, exactly what are we talking about here? We're talking about knowable facts that are ignored by a presidential candidate and his running mate, that they persist in lying to people, not just in that community, but around the country about something they know is factually wrong. And yet we still treat this as this is somehow news to be covering the fact that they're continuing to perpetuate the lie. Where's the consequence here? Uh, and, and so I, I, th I think that, you know, as we as, this is just the tip. You think this is the last cup of BS to come out of this campaign? Get ready. Buckle up. Because this is not about caring for J.D. Vance, caring for your constituents. Oh, that is about as foreign to him as anything else that's related to solid, sound public policy. Where is the conversation? So this is the point we're at. And, and I don't know what we expect to come next from this. And yet we continue to talk about it and covering it as if somehow these two individuals are going to, between the two of them, grow a conscience and actually say, oh, you know what, my bad. My staff called and told me checked this out and told me that this was wrong. I misunderstood. Yeah, I lied about whatever. But they're not going to do that. And so, I, I think we're going to keep doing this, this sort of roller coaster ride with this campaign. And it's crazy.